Now as you can see we're looking at some highlighted text. This is a headline on our page, Dandelion Sunshine, and what I'd like to do is just to make this headline all caps. And unless you're a total InDesign newbie, you should be able to handle this. You simply go up to your control panel, make sure paragraph or I'm sorry, character is selected, and you click on the all caps button, which is right here. And there we go. I'll deselect it, that'll turn it off. I can also do my keyboard shortcut, which is a Command Shift K and there we go I can turn it back off by hitting the same thing again and that was easy now here's a problem that comes up with caps on a regular basis I'm gonna go to this word file and all this word file is is the same exact headline we were just looking at notice that it's all caps in word and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import this headline to replace the one we were just working with so I'm going to actually do a place and I'm going to find my word file. I'm going to make sure replace selected item is chosen and I'm going to click open and there we go there's our headline from word I'm going to style this with the appropriate style and now we're back to where we started and say that I send this off to a client and our art director likes everything about the layout but she doesn't like that the, that the headline is all caps that she would like this to be headline style or cap lower case. And when I hear this from her, I think, oh, that's no problem. I'll just go up here to my caps button and wait a minute, it's already deselected and I press it, nothing happens. I press it again, nothing happens. I hit command shift K and nothing happens. Well, that's bizarre. The reason why, if you recall, is we'll go back to our word file and see the text in Word has, are, has been styled as all caps and so when I import this text from Word into InDesign it's retaining that local formatting from Word so even if I am turning all caps on and off in InDesign it's not able to eliminate that local formatting at this point what a lot of people do is they throw their hands up in the air and they say dang it I'm gonna have to just retype the whole thing and that's no fun because you can introduce typos and it's time consuming so here's what we do instead we go up to type and we choose change case and we have four options here uppercase lowercase title case and sentence case and in this instance we just want we want to go with title case and there it is problem solved now I can go back up here and just to show you how fun this can be I can choose say lowercase which would probably be inappropriate in this instance but uh, that's lowercase for you and finally sentence case would be if simply the first first letter of the sentence or of the highlighted text is capital and everything else is lowercase but here I want to stick with title case now one or a couple last things I'm gonna go back up here and notice that there is no there are no keyboard shortcuts um, here in our options so what do we do we have to go if we want a keyboard shortcut for um, changing case and um, I often have to change text from all caps to title case I actually have my own keyboard shortcut so I'm gonna go here to edit keyboard shortcuts and I'm gonna click on type menu and here are our options we have sentence case title case uppercase and lowercase notice that for title case I've created my own keyboard shortcut which is command and slash on the numerical keypad you can put your cursor right here and you can choose any keyboard command that you would like and click OK and save it and you're good to go um, if you only use this feature once in a while you don't want to have to take the time or the neurons to memorize a keyboard shortcut I encourage everyone to use quick apply and to use quick apply you simply click on command and return and in this case we can let's say we want this to be uppercase we can type in uppercase and it bounces right to the top we don't even have to finish typing in case we simply hit return and InDesign knows exactly what we want and we have an all caps headline I can go back and let's say that I just want this to go back to title case I just type in title case and there it is at the top I hit return and we're good to go. That's the great thing about quick apply is you just type in a few letters or whatever you want to do whether it's changing a paragraph style or making something bold or uh, or 
you're changing the formatting of something, um, you just type in what you want and more often than not that's going to leap up to the top and you simply hit enter and you're good to go. So that is changing case in InDesign. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on the InDesign Junkie.